Really? Now he wants to terminate the Constitution? <gasps> He's a guy. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. All right, y'all. I don't want to talk about this burnt sienna buffoon doing a racist fat Elvis routine any more than you did. Why, 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 why? In fact, I got a poll asking how you think we should cover Trump at the end of the hour. But it's hard to ignore when a former president of the United States calls for a termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in our Constitution, so it can be installed as an unelected dictator. Subtle. This is insane. For all the flaws of our other politicians, nobody in either party in my lifetime or my parents' lifetime had proposed something as fundamentally un-American and radical as that. Has anything like this ever happened before? The Civil War! And it comes on the heels of his dinner with manic Nazi Kanye and America's leading virgin incel white nationalist live streamer, Nick Fuentes. Elect Trump one more time and then stop having elections. Taliban rule in America in a good way. I see good things about Hitler also. So when it comes to what to do about Trump now, you'd think this would be a layup for my former conservative pals. I mean, is it that hard to say having dinner with Nazis and proposing that we shred the Constitution is a deal breaker? Well, no, I guess. But it's time to terminate this guy's bullshit Hasta la vista, baby. Apparently so. You make me sad. Let's watch how one Republican congressman dealt with responding to Trump's crazy earlier this week. Can you support a candidate in 2024 who's for suspending the Constitution? I will support whoever the Republican nominee is. You can't come out against someone who's for suspending the Constitution? Well, you know, he says a lot of things, that, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's ever going to happen. Yeah, but doesn't mean that it won't. Meanwhile, as of this taping, Ron DeSantis, the great white hope for Republicans who want to replace Trump, has said nothing, nada, about any of this insanity. According to one Mitch McConnell advisor, it's smart for him and other Republicans to not take the bait on this issue. What bait? They're not taking the bait. Almost had him. Being pro-Constitution and anti-Nazi dinner is too big of a political risk? Is that really where the Republican Party is right now? Hey, if you don't like America, then you can get it. This is the exact type of thinking that caused Republicans widespread losses in the midterms. They didn't stand up to Trump, nominated a bunch of election denying freaks who got their ass kicked. Case in point, the face plant from Herschel Walker in the Georgia Senate runoff this week. Overnight, Senate Democrats secured a 51 seat majority in the chamber after defending every single one of their seats that were up for grabs in the midterms and picking up one of them. But apparently, they still haven't learned their lesson. When will they ever learn? By playing footsie with the crazy, Republicans are leaving on the table a substantial block of normal mainstream voters who might be gettable for them if they didn't go along with Trump's anti-constitution nonsense. Look, Republicans have always branded themselves as the pro-constitution party. When President Trump says he wants to suspend the constitution, he goes from being MAGA uh, to being rhino. We're the constitution party. Growing up, a lot of Republican nerds like me carried around our little pocket constitutions, like a lot of GOP politicians still do. The likely incoming Republican speaker, Kevin McCarthy, has said he even plans to have a performative reading of the document on the House floor next month. How does that square with refusing to condemn the man who wants to terminate it? Can't have them both, honey. The best thing that McCarthy and the Republicans could do, both for the country and for their own political viability in 2024, would be to begin that reading with a universal condemnation of Trump's assault on the document that they claim to care so much about. You know that's never going to happen. Otherwise, they'll sink to new lows by continuing to chain themselves to their ship shipwrecked sh Tink or swim. Now I want to hear from y'all. Trump isn't going anywhere, but part of me wants to unshackle this show from covering him for a while. Would you guys rather that I keep Tomahawk dunking on Trump every time he ups the ante with his bullshit, or put him on ice for a bit so the 2024 campaign really heats up? Let me know by swiping up and taking the poll, and we'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.